I'm in the kitchen with Phoenix in Red Shrew Barbecue. He's going to today show us how to make a pancake. He's declared as the biggest tosser around in Headingley, so he's going to show us how to do it today. Quickly go through it. Obviously, pancake, there's not that many ingredients that you need, but what makes a special pancake? Uh, love. Lots and lots of love. Uh, flour, eggs, uh, baking powder, give it a little bit of fluffiness, uh, salt and sugar. Blend it all up and that's it. Best to make it in advance you get a better quality pancake. So we need to see a little bit of the techniques. What is the yeah. best techniques to be the biggest tosser? Uh, years and years of practice. Years and years. Um, it's all in the wrist. Just like, uh, <laughs> just like every other pancake. So start off. Go ahead. Um, let's go. Let's see these techniques then. Down. Really hot pan. Nice and hot. Lube it up. <laughs> Oil and butter. Yeah, you plenty of moisture is the key. That's it, that's it. You only put in the oil in to stop the butter from burning. That's it. The, the, the wrist movement starting already. That's quite a good technique, that makes sure the butter doesn't burn by putting oil in. See, I never knew that. There you go, it's something new every day. Right. Nice and melted. We like big pancakes here at Reds. Everything's big at Reds. Big mix in the middle. Swirl it around. Heat up. Let it go. Now that is excellent wrist movement. That's it. That's all you need. Now we wait. That's it. Let it cook. The pancake only cooks underneath ever so slightly. You need to keep it moving. So the raw pancake mix on top goes around the side and that cooks through as well. I'm going to say that's looking a thick one, is that? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, and now we wait. So all we do. Quickly then, so how long have you been making pancakes? Um, I started when I was at high school. Um, <laughs> boredom does that to you. Um, and I've been making pancakes every year since then. As you can see, it's nearly there now. You can see, just around the outside, it starts to darken. That's where it's cooking. Have a little peek underneath see the colour and now the okay. moment of truth can it be a good tosser a lot of people they flip the pancake like that which is why it ends up in the ceiling just like in home alone right. flip like that all you need nice and simple forward and back you're buzzing about that that worked out right aren't you I'm so stoked about that that's amazing yeah. and that's it one more minute let's the batter underneath cook and we're finito so can you tell us what ingredients you're going to be putting in this pancake? Right, this is our famous, very famous indeed, pulled pork. The secret recipe, to an extent, till the cookbook comes out, during bookshops in May. Uh, right, you get the pulled pork, lay it there. Then you get a unholy barbecue sauce. Very unholy. Yeah. Slaw. So if that's unholy barbecue sauce, has it got some Asimo inside that? It's uh, several, several ingredients. Apparently there's 35 <laughs> ingredients in it, so uh, I don't want to know what some of them are. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pork, barbecue and slaw, followed by the cheese. And that's it. Do like I call the pancakes, in half like that. Onto the plate. Oh, we're done. I'd right, thank Phoenix for that excellent pancake there made at Red Shrew Barbecue. If you want to try this pulled pork special pancake, get down to all Red Shrew Barbecue outlets in Leeds, Manchester, Nottingham, and also Headingley. I'm here with young Robbie Ward. We've just been shown by Phoenix how to make a pancake. You're a young kid. You do need to learn how to cook, so I hope you've taken it all on board. Next generation, possibly the Leeds Rhinos. We've been through the 10-year period now. How do you think your progression's going on so far? Uh, doing, uh, well, still at 19s, obviously, and uh, doing uh, pretty well, like, pretty well there. And so I just need to bide my time, and hopefully. What actually does go into a pancake, though? Let's test your knowledge. We know that you can play rugby. Can you test your knowledge in pancake making? 
No, I don't eat pancakes really, so I don't, I don't have a clue what goes into them. <laughs> right, we're stuck here now, so let's see pancake testing techniques. So how do we start then? Bit of butter. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing here, like, but... I hope he's a bit faster on. I hope he's a bit faster on the field than what he is doing this. Wrong here, I've done it wrong. A bit of that. So, but I don't. So why do you put the that? That. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing it right, but. So you put the oil in so the butter doesn't burn, but you just put the butter at the side of the oil. I did dinner. I'll be all right. Here. Sorted now. Best pancake you've ever had. This. So cooking's not a strong part of your. Rice style at the moment. Nah, I'm, I'm actually not a bad cook. I actually am an all right cook, but I don't know. Beans on toast. <laughs> Them hands aren't looking very good. They're not. I might as well just pour it in, I'm glad Phoenix isn't watching this because it, it'll be shaking his boots. Here we are, we're on now. Not look too good, that does it. So why are you swirling it round the pan like that? Um, I can't remember. So, <laughs> so it don't. I just seen him do it. So <laughs> it don't burn or something. Are you nervous about the flip bit? Yeah. You've been known as a little bit of a tosser, so you should be quite good at this, shouldn't you? Yeah, I should. My speciality, this. You are a little bit of a prankster, so I've been told. What's your favourite one that you've got away with so far? Uh, I'm not too sure, to be honest. I don't, I can't rem I don't even know. You are quite a shy, unassuming uh, character, yeah. aren't you? So why, does, why, why, why do you find yourself being a little bit of a prankster in the changing room? I don't know. It's just someone's got to, someone's got to be that idiot, haven't they? And I think I'm that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a tosser and an idiot. <laughs> tosser. <laughs> Pancake tosser that is, by the way. Not yet. You're not looking very steady with these hands. I saw a little bit of shaking going on then when you lifted the pancake up to have a look. <laughs> not so good to set her in. Is this, like, is this like when you made your debut for Super League? Worse than making my debut, we're going to flip this now. <laughs> Are we ready to do the flip now? I don't think it's done, is it? <laughs> I, don't, I can't even tell you. This is supposed to be a three minute pancake, we could be here for a while. Hold on, let me have a look at this side. Ah, we're alright, we're on. Here we go. Yeah. PS the resistance, now we're going for the big flip. I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> just go for it, just go for it, lad. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! As you can see there, there's a little bit of a corner that's been folded over, but I wouldn't say that's a bad effort, that. When it came to coming up to the plate, Robbie Ward finally stood up then. That was that was actually quite a good, excellent flip there, so he's got some good wrist technique. Do we have a plate? Get it dished out. I'm here with James Newman, Head of Communications at Red Shoes Barbecue. I'm now going to attempt this, so you're going to guide me through this. Welcome down, it's very tense this morning. The atmosphere is eclectic. <clears throat> so, how do you think that making pancakes translates to the game? What can you take out of this that you can take into the game for all those young people aspiring to be big in the sport it's it's a nervous mm. energy is this and that's what you feel when you make mm. the first super league debut i just saw them when robbie ward were making his pancake his hand was shaking and that's what it feels like actually making <laughs> the first game you know there's so much pressure on you out of his comfort zone here yeah. having to make a pancake you know it's, it's something so simple but when, when you're not that good at it it's uh, it becomes a little bit nerve-wracking and, and you can see this the atmosphere, it's just like the nerves just sort of like build up inside you. Yeah. So do you think that, that actually you might be taking in pancake into the training season? <laughs> uh, we could be using it for the carbohydrates. Mm, yeah. I think that might be the only, the only reason why we'll be making pancakes. But cooking is now part of the lifestyle of some of these young kids. So right. they need to learn how to do it. 
Do you think I've got enough sauce in there? I reckon I, I have. Yeah, I think I think you've think you've laid it on. And um, what about the tossing? I mean, how, how much of a how much of a tosser do you have to be in, uh, in in the sport to get it right? You've got to have a little bit of attitude, and you've got to yeah. have a little bit of a, that into you. you yeah. Know, obviously, I've been called it all throughout my career from the <laughs> opposing fans. Uh, I had a little bit of a demo before, and I just didn't have the strong wrists, so uh, I must be doing something wrong at home. There is that. <laughs> there is that. So actually. Not only can you improve your game through this, but you can improve other parts of your life. Correct, yes. As we know, <clears throat> you need to keep happy at home, don't you? Yeah. It's all about everything being happy at home. Who would have thought that, that today would have brought so much to your life? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not getting this middle bit cut in there. And what technique are you going to go for the, for the flip? Like I said, the issue was people try and just chuck it straight up. You've got it's more of a rolling technique, isn't it? I think that's where I'm struggling. Right. <coughs> Plus, I think this pan's a little bit too heavy for me. I need to go to the gym and work out a little bit more. It's not burning underneath. No, that's not burnt, that right. oh, it's still, it's still wait a little bit longer. <coughs> I'm too busy prancing about with it, making it look pretty. Left-handed. Yeah. Is that right? And that is that the same in the game? Yes. Right. <laughs> Why do, you, do you change hands when you're playing rugby? <laughs> oh, what are we thinking? Is that ready to go? or? I'm, I'm thinking nerves is taking over. That's no, not ready yet, is it? It's a thick Ooh, one, that. It is, isn't it? A little bit like <coughs> my from Yorkshire. Thicking arm, thicking head. <coughs> you ready for this, Josh? Oh, oh! He's failed, he's only half flicked it! He's half flicked it! Oh, can you bring it back? Can you bring it back? I can't bring it back! It's closed! It's shut! It's stuck! I'm gonna have to use my hands. Oh no. Have I saved it? Oh, I saved it. Good effort. See, you can still save it without actually being a good tosser. <coughs> Job done. Yeah. Are we ready? So, let's get it on the plate, nice and nice and halfway, and then we'll flip it over. Oh! See, I can't flip it, but I can do the presentation side of things. I'm finally, I'm here with Liam Sutcliffe, third, in, third one up. Now we need to see some uh, pancake technique from Liam Sutcliffe. So straight away, he started off wrong and he's put the butter straight in, so he's burnt the butter. So you, you didn't take notice, you need to put a little bit of oil in there so it doesn't burn the butter. So, Sutty, listening is not a strong point of yours, is it? Nah, not at all. I always get told that. So you've recently bought a house. Yeah. You're, you're living with Elliot Minicello, two young kids are living together. Obviously the cooking must be some part, be some part of that, or you, you turned into the takeaway king. I've seen that you've been having a few cooking cooking lessons down at Kirkstall. How do you find living at home on your own, away from your mother and your father? Uh, yeah, it's alright. Hard to get used to it at first, but luckily Elliot's a pretty good cook, so leave it all to him. So stepping in the kitchen is not one of your strong points? Nah, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I don't even know how I'm a bit of pancakes. So, so you don't know, do you know the ingredients? Uh, egg, butter, <laughs> uh, flour, is that it? Is that, that's all of it, isn't it? And a bit of milk. A bit of milk, yeah. Yeah, I didn't have a clue about that. <laughs> so the golden era, 10 years, there's a lot of pressure on your shoulders now. You've been reigned to take over the role of Kevin Sinfield. Rob Burrow, Danny Maguire, obviously with them three will be coming to, to the end of their career soon. How, how are you finding that pressure? Uh, I've not, not really thought about it to be honest, obviously what they've achieved over the last 10 years has been incredible so if we can achieve half of what they've done I'm pretty sure I'll have a good uh, good career. We're half around the road, you've got the Challenge Cup win, <laughs> hopefully now you'll be looking for some grand final winners rings to add to the collection. Yeah hopefully, I've only got 10 minutes in Challenge Cup but you know, just be a part of that week and all celebrations after it were you know, I want to remember, I won't forget about it. Obviously, rugby is a massive part of your career. You're going to lead City College, studying to be a fitness instructor. Is that something that you're looking at doing as well? Obviously, if if the rugby career after the rugby career has ended, something that you're going to be looking into. Because by the looks of this, cooking is not going to be your strong point. <laughs> That's the thing. I I, don't, I only went to college. To, I don't I don't even know why I went to college. To be honest, <laughs> I 
Didn't do me any favours. Uh, she used to tell the teacher to write down all the answers for me, which which she did to be fair to her. So that's I think that's the only reason I passed the course in the end. Is it in the flu? Here we go. Moment of truth. Are you happy that that's ready to flip though? No. Well, I need to flip on the other side, don't I? It needs to get cooked on that side, doesn't it? Is that ready to flip? Have a quick check underneath, make sure it's cooked enough. No, probably not yet. See, it needs a little bit longer, that, doesn't it? A little bit longer. Why is it taking so long, this one? Do we need to turn the heat up a little bit? Let's get the heat going in this kitchen. I can see you're starting to sweat. Obviously, you're a little bit nervous about this. Yeah, I don't have a clock to cook, so I couldn't tell you if it's done or not. Ah, it's ready to flip that, I think. I've got a quick question for you. On your bio on the Reed Rhinos website, it says that after Rugby League, you'd like to be Prime Minister. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who's wrote that. It definitely won't me. <laughs> so do you not think that you've got the uh, the brains, the knowledge, yeah. the, the, the attitude to be Prime Minister? No, I get enough stick to say that I'm fixed, so. <laughs> I've been told quite a few times I'm not the smartest around. Ah, it's ready to flip that. Here we go, moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie Ward definitely is the biggest tosser. Can you save it though? Get the spatula in there, see if you can save this pancake. A little bit burnt as well, that as well. A lot better than your flip, I can't get back over. That's alright, ready to go. Oh, it's burnt. How much pressure are you feeling at this moment? <laughs> yeah, a lot, because I can't get it back over. Oh, what a nightmare, here. Really. Look at all in that. Right, so I think what we need to, we've definitely worked out here is that uh, Liam Sutcliffe definitely needs cooking lessons, especially if he's living, living on his own as well. Or you need a decent girlfriend that's going to be able to cook, so cooking lessons is on the cards, or a decent girl. Yeah, I'll take cooking lessons, I think. <laughs> <laughs> have we got a plate here? Yeah. How do you fold it? He's asked. He's not quite sure how to fold a pancake. Oh my god, that is absolutely atrocious. This is terrible. You can't be proud about that, can oh, you? Look at Stevie. Oh, we're making pancakes at home. <laughs> Onto the rugby field. I hope that you do a little bit more practice on the rugby field than what you do with your, with your cooking and your pancake making. We're going to have to do some pan pancake lessons, aren't I? Don't know. <laughs> I can't please with that. <laughs> so we've had a little bit of fun at Red Shoe Barbecue. We've done the three pancakes. James, time for the test verdict. Nice colour, good thickness. We haven't tried it yet. Same again. Nice thickness. Looks flavourful. This one, I've got to be honest, <laughs> never seen one before. Like it, but that's not to say it's wrong. Thing is, though, the biggest tosser is definitely you. We've had some fun, but that is not Bob on. 